Conscious Health set out on a mission to reimagine behavioral health and to help alleviate some of the overarching challenges in the way behavioral health was being delivered. The first and foremost was to destigmatize it, to be able to come into a center that almost feels like a wellness spa and not have to feel the stigma and the shame of checking into a clinic or into some type of a rehab. The second issue that Conscious Health wanted to reimagine was accessibility. You see, for so many people who are suffering from depression, from PTSD, from anxiety, the notion of checking themselves into a residential program, leaving their families and their jobs for 30 days, which is something completely prohibitive, not to mention the costs associated with it. And so Conscious Health, which is a neuro wellness spa that is accessible for day treatment, that allows somebody to come in and receive a ketamine session or a therapeutic session or a TMS session and be able to go back home to their families or back to their place of work was something that we felt would truly revolutionize the accessibility of behavioral health and help thousands of people. Within psychiatry, the primary tools of the profession are twofold, psychotherapy for the mind and psychopharmacology for the brain. What's often overlooked is the body and the spirit. This is where conscious health comes in. Conscious health bridges age-old spiritual universal principles with modern science. And by modern science, I mean some of the most powerful tools within psychiatry, including neurofeedback, transcranial magnetic stimulation, ketamine therapy, a special form of TMS called electromagnetic brain pulsing or EMBP. TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation, has been approved for use by the FDA for treatment resistant depression, for anxious depression, adolescent depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and smoking cessation. We have a special application of TMS called electromagnetic brain pulsing. This is something that was created by psychiatrist Dr. Jin at the University of California in Irvine. It works a little different than traditional TMS and has shown efficacy for numerous conditions, including conditions that are historically very difficult to treat, like traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress disorder, autism, long COVID, ADHD, and many others. Many people come to us also without a diagnosis for the purposes of brain optimization. So we have pilots, we have athletes come looking to grow and improve themselves without a diagnosis and they've had powerful success with that as well. This technology is very novel and it's based on three hypotheses and physics principles. The first hypothesis is that as a part of the universe, the brain, and including our mind, must obey the law of a symmetry and conservation. Second of all, the brain also possesses the property of a bistability as a, a nonlinear features in any dynamic system, that the system tend to switch and back and forth between the two stability. The third part is called the stochastic resonant, in order to move the system from one state to the other, you can use a sledgehammer to knock it over, or you can use a very gentle noise-based nudging system. And the reason that we come up with this idea is we often found that the measurement of EEG was often associated with a certain mental states. To us, that illness or health, there is no difference at all. They are just the one system in, of the brain either choose to stay in comatose, mental disorder, or wake up. I feel very comfortable with the science around it. We're still learning. We still need to learn more. Um, but I feel that what it does is it helps with synchronization of neuronal pathways and it helps the brain to communicate more efficiently and more effectively and, and for that reason it can help with certain aspects of some of these aggressive behaviors that we may see and some of these debilitating behaviors that we see in individuals with autism. 
We're always looking for interventions that do no harm, that are non-invasive, that have very little side effects, such as you know, neurofeedback. And so that's where electromagnetic brain pulsing is favorable option. When I heard about EMBP, I decided to give it a shot because what did I have to lose? So I went to Conscious Health in LA for about 10 days and the staff there was incredible, well-trained, knowledgeable, supportive, and they started with an EEG map of my brain. So they scanned my brain and I met with a doctor who reviewed it and he said, so this part of your brain is great. And he goes, you see those three little lines? That's your ADHD. But the second week, I remember it was the eighth day, was when I first started to see the real results. I had always been high functioning with my ADHD because I worked really hard at it, but now there's no struggle, no procrastination, no battle to get into workflow. My efficiency is off the charts. I'm a 16 year military veteran. I served in Afghanistan from 2010 to 2012. And I walked away from the military struggling with PTSD, anxiety, depression, sleep issues, and more. And so I decided to get some help. I found such profound healing. Just after my third session, I was sleeping better. Uh, I was finding more joy in life. I wasn't having as many anxiety attacks as I previously had been. And I knew there was something to this. So I leaned in and did another 10 sessions on top of my treatment plan. And I'm just so pleased to say that the results are profound. I'm symptom free from anxiety. I'm symptom free from depression. I'm symptom free from PTSD. Those things just don't exist for me anymore. Well, I think what's unique about the integration process that we do here at Conscious Health is that we've curated our own integration protocols. And what we found is that if you couple an, in it, this integration process with these modalities like ketamine, EMBP, TMS, people have not only more significant change, but it's long lasting. And that's because really it's in the word, they're integrating their insights that they're getting, the change that they're seeing into their lives. How can they make sense of it and then do these things and see them uh, on a daily basis? We are presently doing a study at Yale University looking at the use of EMBP in traumatic brain injury. So we're partnering to get more data and our hope is to take that to FDA approval. We're seeing very positive results, especially in conditions that are historically difficult to treat in the field of psychiatry. I think this will be yet another pathway for many individuals struggling with difficult to treat conditions to improve their brains and improve the health of their minds. I would love to see conscious health centers across the United States and really even on a global level across the world, helping thousands and tens of thousands of people achieve their dreams of optimization, of wellness, of serenity and tranquility by availing themselves to a center that bridges wellness and healthcare and makes the experience accessible and makes the experience enjoyable. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.